I'm very pleased to have you all here this afternoon. My name is Marius. I'm from the e-publishing team within the ETH library. The main focus of the next 10 minutes lies on the funding schemes of SNSF and ETH library to make open access. Based on both schemes, I will derive a hopefully useful method for you to find the best possible funding option for your publication. Apart from that, this coffee lecture strongly is a call to action. Or in other words, I have a mission to convince you. We all will be affected by the budget restrictions as of next year, 2024. Bearing this in mind, it is essential to explain why it is important to allocate the APC funding between SNSF and ETH library. After I've shed some light on that, I will underline the most relevant ca characteristics from both funding schemes. Subsequently, I'm gonna introduce to you the aforementioned method and we will round off this coffee lecture together with a Q&A. Just to avoid any misunderstandings upfront, APC means article processing charge and is the official wording for publication fee. Nowadays, you usually have to pay this fee, or as I said, the APC, to make your publication openly accessible without any restrictions. So when it comes to funding of APCs, this has been ensured in the past by ETH library, regardless of whether you or your co-authors had a SNSF grant. This led to the uh, situation that ETH library obviously covers more APCs than it should. Based on that fact, we decided to redirect eligible APCs to the SNSS as for now. Such an exclusion from our funding allows us to invest the freed up amount for APCs that is not eligible for funding by any third party research funders. In the end, this will increase the total amount of open access publications over the next years. With this slide, uh, with framed funding characteristics on both sides, is intended to show in detail that gold open access is funded either way, whereas hybrid open access is only funded by ETH library if there is an agreement with the publisher covering hybrid journals. As gold open access is funded by the SNSF, it is obvious that we expect our authors to submit gold APCs to the SNSF. But what does this mean for you as an author and how does it work to distinguish who is going to pay the APC for your research papers? On this slide, I present the mentioned method, which works like a flowchart with checkboxes. First of all, you have to distinguish between gold or hybrid journals. Since we have seen in the previous slide that SNSF does not fund hybrid journals at all. To figure out whether a journal is gold or hybrid, I can recommend <clears throat> sorry, the EZB in German Elektronische Zeitschriftenbibliothek. Alternatively, you can use the Directory of Open Access Journals, the DOHA. When the journal is indexed, then it must be a gold or diamond journal, because hybrid journals are excluded from the DOHA. If it's a gold journal, so then check. Clarify in advance of submission or acceptance with your co-authors whether someone has an SNSF grant. Does anybody have an SNSF grant? Then check. If there is no agreement or an agreement which does not include your journal, then check in the left column. If it's true, you or the grantee must hand in the APC invoice directly between ETH library and the publisher and does this agreement include your journal? If yes, you are in the right column. And if both questions can be answered with yes, then check. You can find detailed information about each publisher and which journals are included or excluded from agreements in our online open access manual. As next step, you are called to action. 
your task as corresponding order is letter, letter A, to dismiss ETH funding. If you don't dismiss it, then we from the library will deny your funding request as a kind of backup. Both tasks should generate an APC invoice. At least you or the grantee must submit this APC invoice to Kronos Hub. So for now, all the work is done to ensure that your APC will be funded by the SNSF. So check again. Whenever you get stuck, or even worse, whenever you get lost in the jungle of APC funding, we from the e-publishing team are always at your disposal. Go to our online open access manual or reach out to us by email or phone. We serve you with ad hoc advice. You can arrange a meeting with us or book an expert for an invited lecture to discuss APC funding options in more detail with your team or your group.